Closing behind me are the new Zemi Smart Matter Over Thread Smart Shades. These work directly in the Apple Home app and the thread connectivity gives you a reliable connection and super fast responsiveness whether you're using the Home app or just talking to your voice assistant. Because it's Matter, it works with a variety of smart home platforms, well, Google Home and Amazon. But if you follow the channel, you know I'm all about HomeKit and that's exactly what I'm using for these shades. And you can see, super responsive. I'm gonna do it again, opening the shades, tapping the iPad there, and you can see how fast it actually responded. They're now opening behind me. That's thanks to the Matter Over Thread connectivity. Now setting them up, I actually had some blinds already in these windows. So I took those down, took the brackets down, but you get everything to mount the new Zemi Smart Shades up in your window in the box. I was actually able to reuse some of the holes I had before on the Zemi Smart Shades. So put up the brackets, screwed those in, very easy process to put the motor into the shade. They actually did come separately, but it only took me about 30 minutes per window to get it installed super fast. And it's just about three screws on each side per bracket. Then you actually clip one end in, then the side with the USB-C gets put in the bracket and they're up and ready to go. Now setting them up and pairing over matter is super easy. I'll show you that process in a second, but each shade does actually come with one of these remotes. You will have to use this to program the stopping point to the top and bottom of the shade. So when you first get them installed, you can do this after you pair it with Matter, but I did it before. Use the up and down arrows on the remote, get it to the highest point that you want the shade to go and the lowest point, and then you hold a specific combination of buttons on the remote to program that stopping point into the shade. Once you do that, you never really have to use this remote again, but you can if you want. It actually has a cool little like magnetic mount with a 3M strip. So if you want to put it somewhere in the bedroom or wherever you're installing these, so the remote can just magnetically be held on somewhere on the wall, it's pretty cool. Now, once you've programmed that stopping point at the bottom and the top, I went ahead and paired it into the Apple Home app. There's just a matter QR code you scan it with the Home app. You can actually start in just the camera app if you would like, and it pairs super easily. There's actually no Zemi Smart app to use or manage or even have to set up, which actually is how I prefer it. I'd rather just use the first party Apple Home app, and that's exactly how these work. They paired quickly into the Apple Home app. There's a pairing mode you have to go into by holding the little button next to the USB-C port, but that happens quickly. Which speaking of which, these are rechargeable via a USB-C port that comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable, but there's no brick in the box. But actually I find it's easier to recharge these using a power bank. I usually put a power bank like right along the window on this part in the middle, and then run a USB-C cable up to the charger. And these seem very similar to the smart wing shades that I've had for over a year. And the battery lasts a long time. Like I have mine programmed to raise and lower every day. And I typically only charge it once every six months. So pretty much like once or twice a year. So battery life is gonna be great. And again, that's thanks to the thread connectivity in these Zemi Smart roller shades. Now, once you have it in the Apple Home app, you can control it via your voice assistant on all your Apple devices and program automations, just like all your other HomeKit devices. Again, just to show you how fast that thread is, I'm gonna tap it right here. And you can see how quickly they start lowering as soon as I tap that control on my iPad. I'm also gonna try and control it using the HomePod here in my master bedroom. I'm gonna mute myself saying it, but I won't do any cuts so you can see how fast it responds. I'll wait till they lower and you can see the stopping point right there that I set with the remote. And now I'll say, open the master bedroom shades. And now it's listening to that command. I'm whispering, so hopefully it stops listening to me. And there we go, now they're raising. You can also ask it to just open 50% of the way or 75 or 25% but I actually have these run in automations. You'll see up at the top, I have an automation for the afternoon, and I also have ones for in the morning and in the evening. So I have them open about halfway mid-morning, all the way in the afternoon, and then I have them shut completely around sunset. I've had these automated for the past couple of weeks, and it's just nice to be able to have them automatically open and close, something we did not do with our manual blinds before. And those are some inexpensive ones from Lowe's, they did fine but I really like the automatic option. Now, two things I would like to see in the future from Zemi Smart is a valance option for the shade. There's no way to order it with a valance cover directly from Zemi Smart. So you just have the exposed roller here in the window. Smart Wings and some other brands give you those valance options and you can get valances after the fact, even on Amazon or third parties, but I like to get it with the shade. And also there's a little red light by the USB-C port on each motor. And that little red light actually blinks no matter what's happening. Even if the connection is fine, the battery is fine. So I'll probably be putting a piece of like black electrical tape just to cover the light, but it would be nice to just turn that light off or just not have it at all, unless you're in pairing mode or having to do other things with the shade. Also, if you had a valance, it probably wouldn't be as big of an issue because the light would be covered. And the only other thing is there's some exposed wires for those thread radios and you see it here. Again, those would be covered with a valance, 
But just so you know, they are there and you'll have to do something with them as you mount it, depending on how you do it. But overall, the performance of the Matter Over Thread has been excellent. It matches all my other Thread devices in the home. Very fast to respond, very reliable. I've not lost connection at all in the last several weeks. And like I said before, these are some of the most affordable Thread Over Matter that works directly in Apple Home smart shades that you can get. It is limited by color and style of shades, but you get all the different sizes of windows. You order it directly from ZemiSmart. I'm actually looking at getting another shade for my bathroom. And it's gonna be about 200 bucks altogether in that ready-made shade. And I've not found anything cheaper than that when it comes to these smart shades. So overall, really enjoying them. But if you wanna see some of my other shade reviews like my Smart Wings or the Eve Motion Blinds, I'll put one of those videos right up here. And I have a ton of HomeKit devices. I actually have over, well, probably over 120 right now. And so I have an entire tour of my smart home where I show you everything. Plus I have some devices coming soon I can't even talk about yet. So subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be reviewing those soon. I'll put my smart home tour right up here if you wanna check that out. I'm gonna lower the shades one more time as I'm closing out the video so you can see how responsive that is. There they go, they're lowering. And if you have any questions about the Zemi Smart Smart Shades or anything else in my smart home, leave comments below this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And did I mention subscribe? You should do that too. And check out one of my other smart home videos right up here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.